Okay, here is my current project. Um, it's basically like the RPG that you saw before, because this one has a lot more graphics. It's just getting started. But here we go. Same music. Um, I don't know if you can see, but his, his eyes change in directions. What direction you're moving in. You can go and talk to this guy. And then the, on the bottom screen, here I'll show you that again, how that, how that shows up when I go and talk to him. And the text screen appears at the bottom. Um, I can look at my stats by pressing X. And here's the weapon shop. I can move my cursor around. Here I'll buy a red pen, and that's the tel that tells me that I can't buy it because I don't have enough money. And this one says, uh, I already, I already have that item. So anyway, I'll get out of the weapon shop, go to the next room. This time, instead of an old man, we have an old woman walking around. And she just gives you some more advice. You can see she has a little ribbon on her hair. A cute old lady, huh? And, yeah. And I just basically, look at the two rooms. It's just a mirror image. Just, uh... That lazy programming. I don't even have any indication that this is an armor shop or a weapon shop, but this is the armor shop. Same items as in the last game. All I can afford, I guess, is the red and white hat. Um, yeah, and then these are the only two rooms that are finished. If I go up, you just have empty rooms. I don't know why the, the merchant is in the empty rooms, but you know, that's all you can do. That's all there is to see, unfortunately. You can shut the music off. <laughs> Turn it back on. Okay. okay, here's uh, my uh, RPG. It's basically a text RPG. It's called Zombie Train. <laughs> took me about a week to write. Here's all my code. It's about 1,200 lines of code. And uh, here I'll get right into it. Um, first, you have to pick your name, and I'm going to do a little trick here. I, I, if I, I programmed it, so if I named my character Hero, my stats are just really boosted up, so I don't have to grind at all. I can just go through the game. So, uh, it's in Japanese because I live in Japan and m most of my friends who are playing this are Japanese, so you can only use katakana, but anyway, you got your status, uh, your level, your strength, your weapons, all that kind of thing. Uh, you can talk to people. There's the old, oh, there's the kindergartner, and, uh, there's a pigeon, <laughs> and the old lady. They basically just give you hints about how to play the game. It's not really a story, other than you're killing zombies in a train. Um, you can shop, get a weapon. The weapons are a pencil, black pen, red pen, and a kendama. Uh, I'm not going to explain what that is. But here about is a kendama. Well, I might as well just buy the best stuff, because I have a ton of gold. Because it's on the hero mode. Uh, so, so, actually, to tell the truth, I don't even really need any items. Uh, armor, you can buy a, a red and white hat, a backpack, a... Um, a surgical mask, I guess, and, uh, or a hundoshi. So, uh, anyway, we'll get to the main part of the game. We're on the train. You go through the train and run into enemies, and... And here's the kindergarten... Kindergartner. Here, oh, here's a rare enemy, an old lady. I just leveled up. Um... So basically, I, I just go through the different cars of the train. Here I'm on train 9. I get to train 10, or 12 actually. There's a boss. And here it is. Uh, there's a cat. <laughs> actually, uh, my girlfriend made the, the graphics for this cat. I'll let it attack me. So you can hear it, it meows when it attacks. Leveled up again, and then when I proceed... I'm in the next town. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and warp ahead. Well, let's see if you in the next town you can buy new weapons and armor and talk to different people. Um, I think Robert also made this. It's a crow. Um, let's see here. I'll just uh, go to the last station. I, I put a code in where you can warp to the last station. You know, the music's darker. Let me listen to the music a little bit.
The weapons are more expensive, of course. It's the chainsaw. Oh, I have to sell my current item first. That's the best uh, weapon in the game is the chainsaw. The best armor is the kimono. <laughs> I gotta sell my Hundoshi first. Okay. Now, go get on the train. And. Well, the music's also different for the last train. It was supposed to be. Was it? A Toki. A endangered species in Japan. Oh, it drops a treasure chest. Uh, I actually didn't make the graphics for the treasure chest, they were already programmed in the game, and I instead was ramen. Ramen will uh, bring my two points to max. This is a college student. And like I said, everyone's going down in one shot because I used that code. So we'll just go to the last boss here, the last car. <laughs> Leveling up every fight. Okay, here's the final boss. No, it's got the final boss music. I'll let him attack me once so you can hear his battle sound. He barks, see? And let's kill him. Sorry, Diego. I beat the game. And if you continue, um, you can go through the game again. All the stats of the enemies are boosted up uh, about 20%. So you can keep going through the game as many times as you like. Notice the check the text is change colors to show that you're on the second loop. Um, yeah, and that's basically you've seen all there is to see from this game. Okay. Cool.